Oh, uh, yes, Jane, thank you. Uh, we've been tracking this uh, balloon for about the last 20 minutes, and uh, this balloon obviously has uh, a child attached to it, uh, Jane, and uh, we've been uh, following this thing for about 20 minutes now, and it's uh, going to be crashing here hopefully very soon, and uh, we we'll, should see be uh, being able to talk to the father and find out how exactly this happened because uh, he says that uh, he called 911 earlier saying that the balloon had his child attached to it and it uh, had uh, gotten away from him. And, uh, okay, so now we go to an interview with the father and find out, Sir, can you tell us, please, how exactly did the balloon escape uh, with your child attached to it? And uh, is this a deliberate attempt to just get a reality TV show? My dad, my dad said we'll make a show. Oh, my dad said that we'll make a show. Okay. My dad said we're going to make a show. Uh, a lot of people seem yeah, to did. think that you have done this as a publicity stunt, and uh, the viewers would like to know now, sir, uh, mm -hmm. is this a publicity stunt just to get recognized in the world as uh, somebody that may have some creativity uh, and are able and willing to put their children in danger? Is that right, sir? Uh, I think I know what you're implying, and I'm just letting you know that I didn't even want to do this interview, and, you know, it could have been your child stuck to that balloon going, you know, 90 miles to nothing at 10,000 feet. And I'm just letting, you know, people and parents be aware, just don't let their kids play around hot air balloons, because, and or helium test balloons, because... You know, it really wouldn't make a great TV show if you did have your kids strapped to a weather balloon. Well, this concludes it, and we're going back to you, Jane, and thank you.